The first thing to know about Canadian Forces 01, seen here in its original color, is that it is no Air Force One. No, Canada's PM has been flying around in a very modest, modified Airbus. It was built in 1987, bought by Canada in 1992, used from Canadian Airlines, and then given a new paint job in 2013. The plane is so old, it still had ashtrays in the washrooms. Brian Mulroney spent $56 million to convert the plane, though he never flew in it. Jean Chrétien dubbed it a, quote, flying Taj Mahal. He took out the VIP items. He never used it either as PM. Four times a year. It was Paul Martin who first used the plane for official PM travel. And by then, all the seating was economy, except for the Spartan VIP cabin at the front. Here's Stephen Harper in that cabin with Chrétien, Kim Campbell and Brian Mulroney on the way to Nelson Mandela's funeral. Where did all those VIPs sleep on the long flight to South Africa? Well, there's only one bed in the cabin, so at least three of those XPMs would have had to sit and sleep in economy seats, which only barely recline. There are no TVs at any passenger seat. Wi-Fi on board? Forget it. There's not even electrical outlets for passengers. It's been battered, beat up, and has often broken down, most recently stranding Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in India for an extra few days, while the Air Force waited for a part to fix it. And so we say goodbye to the old CF-01 and hello to the new CF-01. That's one of them behind me. It's an Airbus II, an A330, bought used from Kuwaiti Airways. It was built in 2015. Modern enough, I'm told, that there will not be any ashtrays in the washroom. Donna. Well, that's an important update. David Aiken at Ottawa's airport, thanks.